All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Armando Galan, the voice of your Ohlone College Renegades. Alina, thank you so much for joining us <laughs> <What's> today. What's up? <laughs> and uh, can you just go through the uh, proper pronunciation of your first and last name? Um, I'm Lena Kalpin, and I'm a middle blocker, and I'm number one. Awesome. Where'd you go to high school? I went to American High School. Awesome. <laughs> the team that my school used to be... Well, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I actually got a lot of sleep today, which is really nice. I hey, there you go. That. Yeah, I got, I, got, I got decent sleep last night. Uh, I was like on my phone watching YouTube, and then I looked, I looked at the time, I'm like, it's 2.30. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, f I really got to quickly take a shower then. <laughs> I took a shower at 2.30, <laughs> went to bed at 3. <laughs> Yeah, I went to that one. I was fine. Oh, my, my God. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I mean, like, I, I finally had myself on a good schedule, and then this freaking uh, news class that I'm taking, it, it stays till 9 o'clock every Monday and Wednesday. So I get, I come home, I have dinner at, like, 10.30, and, and I'm, like, exhausted, but then at the same time, I got to do homework and stuff. So oh it's, like, God. it's throwing me off. I'm, like, damn it, I got my sleep schedule under control, and then this class. You got I believe in you. Um, why do you play volleyball? What's uh, what's your favorite memory so far from the season? Um, I think it was, what was the game? Los Madonna's game. I think it was literally like a couple weeks ago. I really, that was my best game. I got 11 kills in one game. I think, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, we, were, we weren't doing the best. And I think the coach was like, the ball goes to Lena. When she said that, I was like, finally, it's my time to shine. It was... It was exhilarating. I kind of panicked, but I think I really stepped up. No, I, I I remember when I was checking the box score, I was like, Alina with 11 kills? I surprised myself. I, I was like, I what? <laughs> it's like, dude, she tied Rashal. What the freak? I'm like, yeah. go Alina. Whatever uh, whatever you had pregame, whatever your your, your your prep was pregame, do that for the next, like, seven, eight games that you guys Have got left. a couple left. Red Bulls. <laughs> Five Red Bulls. No, I'm just kidding. No, don't do that. That's, that's, you're that's excessive. <laughs> you're, you're, you just have, like, like, you have, like, over ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that joke because I have ADHD, folks. Um, <laughs> and um, why do you play volleyball? Um, well, I started playing basketball in elementary, and then that got super, I guess, aggressive, according <laughs> to my parents. So they were like, you're not playing that anymore. Um, and then I would see my brother, who's five years older than me, he was, when I quit basketball, he was playing volleyball at American. And I would come to his games all the time, and I thought he was, like, the coolest guy ever. Like, he would get, like, he would go on 20 service runs. It was, it was just so cool to watch. And my dad plays volleyball, so whenever we go on vacation, we always do beach volleyball. And then my dad was like pushing me towards that way and I was like sure and then that's how I started and that's awesome well that that explains now why you were talking X's and O's at the, at the basketball game yeah <laughs> I'm so ready I'm so ready to take them <laughs> I was like I was like wow uh, well hopefully I mean hopefully you, you and well hopefully you know like you and the volleyball some of the volleyball girls are able to uh, come this weekend uh, to the beach and uh, some of the basketball guys are able to uh, and then we'll sneak a volleyball in <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and ambush them, all right? So, yeah, that's, so down. That, that, that's the goal. That's the goal. I'll, I'll, I'll call <laughs> the game and be like, oh, basketball's getting their asses <laughs> kicked. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, what's your major? <laughs> I'm majoring in environmental science and management right now. Oh, really? Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I, uh, I have to take an uh, env uh, environmental science next semester. Mm -hmm. That's like my final GE, and then I'm out of here. Um, no, no, don't leave. <laughs> um, but I might be back next season, like at least as as a as an employee. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, it just depends on where I'm going to school, uh, which should be still in the Bay Area. Who's your favorite sister on the team, and why? Oh, I have a lot. I have a lot. So I think when the season first started, I really bonded with Gianna because she was incoming freshman and she was shy like me, and I was like. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with her, and <laughs> you always see we're always partnering together for like DROMs or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Ira, um, Ira is the most extroverted girl I think on the <laughs> team I've ever met. She was so extroverted; she still is. And I think I always I started bonding with her, and I'm coaching with her now, which is kind of crazy. That's cool. And of course, Gabby R. Like, she kind of I was kind of nervous. She's kind of intimidating me in the beginning, but then, <laughs> but now she's like hella funny, and she always makes me laugh on the court. I love it. Oh yeah, definitely. It's funny that you say that too, because when I met y'all, I was like. 
okay, Gabby R is like the the the, the girl that like I don't even know about. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I mean, she seems friendly, but I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like after, uh, especially after this last week, um, you know, getting to talk to her mm-hmm. more and, and and interviewing her first, um, you know, I realized like she really is like super outgoing super nice she's a sweet soul i love her once you like once you break that ice it's like oh my god you're gonna have a great time with gabby (laughs) um yeah it's funny too because gianna said that uh she that you were her favorite (laughs) sister yes uh, oh, we say that on the court all the time yeah. too. And uh, and and the the uh, funny thing is too is that there's a picture that she sent me of you too. <laughs> That's gonna go on screen. What? She says that. <laughs> yeah. What's the picture? <laughs> uh, I think it's one of you you two getting boas. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, I need to show this to Alina before she kills me. Oh my god. <laughs> she sent oh me that. Oh my god. <laughs> You, oh, you guys okay. will see it on screen now for like literally two seconds. I'm not showing it any longer oh than my that. God. <laughs> There's literally one picture we were going to a tournament and then John was sitting in front of me and I was sleeping and I go up and she's taking a selfie and in the back of the picture you just see me death staring at the camera. It's the fu- oh my god. I'm oh my her. god. Yeah, I could see the bags underneath your eyes. I was like, what the fuck? I was <laughs> oh no. That's that- my sleep deprivation. <laughs> That's why I prioritize. Oh my account. goodness. Yeah, that's me when I uh, when I'm uh, on my way home from uh, from your practices. I'm like passing out on the bus. I don't know how you do it? I'm oh like, my God. fuck. <laughs> I honestly, to this day, I'm like, uh, I'm I constantly like, ah, why am I staying this long? And then I'm like, well, because I'm actually enjoying it. Period. Our practices <laughs> are fun. Yeah. No, they they definitely are. Uh, <laughs> you guys should let in paid attendance for them sometimes, especially when you when when you've had one too many Red Bulls. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the, the the most fun when it when uh you are the Alina. <laughs> and what's your favorite part about volleyball specifically? I don't know. You just get like on this high. Like you, I've never felt like so happy when I'm playing volleyball. Like whenever, like you're up and it's just like the whole team. It's just like everyone's energy coming up into one, and it's like. It's the most exhilarating thing. And then seeing, like, your parents, your friends, see you thrive in a space, that makes you so happy. It also became one of my escape places. Like, I could go to volleyball practice and forget about anything. My club coaches would be like, I know you guys are going through something right now, but for these next two hours, like, you focus on this game. And it was just, it provided you an escape from everything, from your anxiety, your stress, like, family issues, friend issues, relationship issues. It was, it just, like, was a calm state of mind, and I loved it. Yeah, and I think that uh, one thing that Sanguinetti said I think it was either Sanguinetti or it was Jaconti. It was one of those two. Uh, they told me, uh, or she told me, uh, that, you know, she basically, she when she comes to practice, she feels like, you know, like that's a, that's a place where she can just kind of be herself yeah, 100%. now. Because uh, she's like, because I'm surrounded by people who are going through, you know, just as things that are just as hard as what I'm going through, Mm -hmm. you know, and it makes me feel, you know, seen, it makes me feel heard and understood. Uh, And so uh, I I thought that that was a fantastic question, definitely, I mean, a fantastic answer, one of the best answers that I got for sure. Uh, But I mean, it's awesome that you (laughs) also said that. (laughs) Favorite foods and drinks? Favorite foods, sushi. I love sushi. Sorry, kind of basic of me, my bad. (laughs) Drink, I don't know. Honestly, this is water. Like I kind of <laughs> after with Coach Courtney, I just stopped drinking soda altogether. It really helped. Like that's there. cool. Yeah, I I've never liked soda, and it, it, it's funny because like <laughs> I went and <laughs> grabbed the Mountain Dew <laughs> last week, <laughs> and I ended up buying two on accident. That was fucking hilarious. But um, you know, like I I, I don't ever drink soda either. I've never liked soda. I like. I hate Coke. I hate Dr Pepper. <laughs> I know that uh, Rochelle is probably. Uh, if she's listening, she's probably getting ready to freaking punch the screen because she said that she likes Dr Pepper. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I hate. She should. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I hate Dr Pepper. I mean, I like root beer, but you like I'd... root beer, but you don't like Dr Pepper. No, I'm like, I'll give you heat for that one. Uh, honestly, I'm like. If it comes down to it, it's lemonade or it's water or it's nothing. I'm down with like, I'm like nothing else. I, don't I will like... add, I love Red Bull. Sorry. I know I said bad <laughs> soda, but I will always take a Red Bull if I can. Well, you know what? Uh, with your schedules, you definitely need pick-me-ups every once in a while. 
And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I would know because I I, I see it at least twice uh, twice a week. Yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, those are rough. They're rough. Yeah. Do you have any outside hobbies? Oh, homework. Literally, I have no like volleyball is my life. I <laughs> it's either I'm doing homework or I'm playing volleyball. I mean, obviously, I love spending time with my friends and family and and my boyfriend. Like, I love doing that stuff, but I kind of don't have time with them right now. As much as it sucks, I really don't have time with them. I'm either yeah. here or I'm doing my homework. Yeah. I'm fortunate enough that I'm not taking GEs anymore, so I don't mm. really get very much homework. But, I mean, I'll tell you what. Last semester, I was taking two... Uh, I was only taking two classes because of, like, you know, the, the college getting hacked. And, yeah. and, and uh, also because when I, when registration was open before, it got, before they got hacked, I had COVID. So I was literally not even physically able to pick mm-hmm. up the freaking computer and mm-hmm. register for my classes because yeah, I couldn't, like, pay attention at all. And... Uh, so, uh, it was uh, it it was really difficult doing those two online classes, <laughs> and being a full time announcer mm-hmm. for the baseball team. I was like, my my parents were like, "Are you sure you want to do it for the fall semester?" I'm like, "Absolutely, let's wild. do it. Five classes and full time uh, full time schedule for volleyball and basketball. Let's do it. I'm ready." <laughs> hey, you're kicking ass right now. You're doing great. So. Yeah, and, and we're gonna go on air on Friday. Awesome. Lost bow. Okay. What's your favorite music? I kind of like everything. I mean, I like rap. Like, I, I love A Boogie. I love Pop Smoke. Um, yeah. I mean, I love Elvis. Like, I'll go for, like, the Beatles. <laughs> I think it's just, like, all over the place sometimes. Like, whatever yeah. pop song I like. But my favorite probably, like, Pop Smoke, A Boogie. Those are my top two. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's like I started with metal, and uh, now I'm listening to opera. And I'm like, what the? We Man. love the variety. We it, love that. Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, I, I always say, like, I'm the only playlist in the world that will go from death metal to rap to pop back to death metal to metalcore <laughs> to uh, alternative rock to British rock back to pop then back to metal all in one sitting. A bit of everything. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, if I ever got the ox, I'll tell you what, every single person will hear one of their favorite <laughs> songs. <laughs> um... How and why did you choose to play for Ohlone? Well, after um, American, I knew I wanted to play at the next level because, like, I couldn't give up volleyball, especially it was a, I didn't have a good season at um, American. And then I didn't want to stop playing after club. And I thought that you're supposed to try out for community, so I was ready for that. And it was my senior night um, at American, and Coach Courtney and Armin, they were there, and then they came up to me, and they're like, do you want to play for Ohlone? I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> and I was expecting them to give me a tryout date, but they were like, okay, like, can you come on a tour? And then after I went on the tour, they sent me an offer and I accepted. Awesome. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank goodness you did get offered. I'm so happy. I'm so <laughs> no, happy. No, seriously. I mean, uh, the complexion, I, I mean, I think I speak for every girl on this team. I'm pretty sure that they probably told you this in some capacity. The complexion of the team would have completely changed without you. <laughs> you know, like, it, it, it would look completely different without you, for sure. Uh, it, it, and practices will definitely be <laughs> w- really different without you. So, um, yeah, no problem. What has been your uh, greatest struggle, either in the sport or in life, if you want to get into that? I think after after high school, it was just making up for my past. I kind of got a sense of clarity. So in high school, and just in general, I always like associated my grades with my self-worth. So I was, I was like a nerd. I was always like on my school, but that... It got to the point where I would cut off my family, I would cut off my friends, like all my relationships. They kind of just like went down the drain. And then after high school, I looked back and I was like, wow, like I really took away the time I had with my family and my friends. So as of right now, it's just been learning to rebuild those relationships and kind of understanding, like telling them like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I kind of put you to the side. And I think it was just learning what my priorities were. And then with volleyball, my biggest struggle was I, I think it was with high school. My I went, I had a, did not have a good high school coach. In my opinion, I didn't have a good high school coach. I went to her conditionings, which were horrendous. That she would pride herself on that they were like worse than football. They were horrible. I would go to her conditionings. I would go to her open gyms. And then sophomore year, I didn't make the team. Junior year, I was told that I would be a practice player because she miscounted the jerseys. And then senior year, I got a spot, but. I was benched practically the entire season, and it was it was hard. It was hard, but that's actually how I got close with Julia, who's one of the girls on our team. Like we both kind of bonded about that, and 
at the end of the day, I'm happy that I continued, like, after, like, crying after every practice, after every game, just staying on the bench. I was able to, like, push through that, and then eventually it got me here to Ohlone. Yeah, and, and that's super tough because, you know, it's just, it, it, especially at that level, you know, like, I, I've always kind of silently felt this way, that in a lot of sports, uh, kids around America, uh, a lot of high school sports, they get overworked. I feel like college has gotten so much easier. Yeah. So much easier to classes. adjust. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much easier to adjust. And, and, and it shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to complain, but it shouldn't be that way. It should be high school is getting you ready for college, not like, thank God I'm in college and not high school. I know. You and know? That's, that's the realization I came to. Yeah. And I, just, I talk to a lot of people, and it's kind of sad, but like, I'll literally be talking to people, and they're like, yeah, my high school coach ruined the sport. Like, it, if honestly, if I didn't have lacrosse, if I didn't have Courtney, if I didn't have my club coaches, I would have quit volleyball because of that coach, which which sucks. And I'm happy it didn't. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna like say that she was the worst coach ever. At the end of the day, she pushed me to like what I know I can be now. Mm -hmm. But it still sucks that I had to go through that like rough like mental state because of yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. But uh, now we uh, <laughs> pull the, pull our way out of the dark here with this question: uh, What motivates you to keep going? Honestly, all of that, like just <laughs> the coach saying that I'm seventh string, like he, like I have that in the back of my mind all the time. Like, yeah, I'm seventh string, but I'm a starter now. Like she motivated me. My parents motivate me. Like I know how much they have to put in for me to be here. Like playing club is expensive. And I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to show them that their money is going to like good use. Like all the work that they're putting in is going to good use. Like I am, I'm going to work my butt off just to show them that everything they're doing, all their sacrifices is worth it. I want to make them proud. I want to make my team proud. Like, that's literally, literally it. I just want to sh prove everyone wrong and just show them that I can be who I want to be on the court. See, I knew you were my favorite player. <laughs> Thanks! I knew you were my favorite player. Not to, uh, to uh, you know, like downgrade any of the other <laughs> ladies that are listening. We love you guys. Love you all. But, I mean, like, seriously, like... I, I mean, that's just, it, it's a sensational story. It, it's, it really, it, it's gripping because, you know, like, I mean, I know that they can't see look, the look on your face, but the, the, the sound of your voice and the look on your face <laughs> says everything that needs to be said. Like, you don't even need to get into it. And, uh, and, and you know, I think that, that it's important that, uh, that you tell yourself you're not seventh stream because you're not. Yeah. You really aren't a seventh string. I made it far. I made it far. <laughs> and uh, I feel like that that, you know, like that mentality, uh, God forbid, you know, the season's still uh, very much alive uh, for y'all. You still mm -hmm. have plenty of games to get yep. through. But, you know, for you returning freshman next year, that will be definitely be something that I feel like kind of binds you is that like, you know, like, yeah, last season wasn't great. So let's make this season better. You know, 100%. And, and I feel like the, the, the coolest thing, too, is that you don't put that pressure on yourselves now, mm -hmm. you know, where it's like, you know, like, oh, we got, we got to improve. We got to look mm -hmm. better. We got to look better. You're just looking at it like, let's have as much fun as possible. Yeah. Focus and, on right now. Yeah. Focus and focus on right now, improve as much as we can, but have as much fun as yeah. we can. Cause that's all we can do at yeah. this point. And that, that's the reason why I really like behind the scenes, I was like, I want to get on the microphone for this team. I mean, like the, like, you know, it's just the, the way you, all approach it. it it really is you know to me very very inspiring because when i was an athlete and uh, my health was on the decline and mm -hmm. uh, and my career was on the decline i let it happen because I, I didn't motivate myself enough to just say hey let's just enjoy it mm -hmm. you know uh and so yeah i mean definitely I, this team has taught me a few lessons <laughs> Uh, behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just have fun. I love that. Definitely. And what are your goals and milestones you're looking to achieve beyond, you know, having fun? <laughs> you want, like, after college? Um, after college or even just right now, you know, like... I don't know. I think I just want to... I just want to keep going on, like, the... Like, getting better, getting better. I don't want to decline that down. Mm -hmm. I think after college, definitely maintaining a good GPA and then afterwards going into, like, transferring maybe to a UC and, um... Then hopefully getting into medical school. That's nice. the goal. Nice. And now, uh, this is a yeah, thought-provoking question that kind of got your teammates a okay. lot. What makes you unique in your eyes? I think it's, I've had the teammates say, but like, 
I think you can agree, my energy. I, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> you will hear me screaming from a mile away. And it's honestly that I don't care if the score is 24-3. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You're still in it. Any, literally anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. I, I truly believe in my heart that if the score is 24-3, we are not determined to lose. Like, yeah, I might. But I think play until that last point. Yeah. I, I think I, like, I think there was one game, it was like 19-9, and I just screamed, push one, just push one, and then, like, the whole teammate just was, were laughing, and just being able to make the team laugh, even when we're supposed to be, like, down or upset, that, that makes me happy, and I know that a lot of people have told me, like, wow, you, like, are, like, the loud one on the team, and I think that's what makes me unique on the team. Definitely, and, and, and you know, it's like, um, I, I know we kind of got into this a little bit when we were watching uh, baseball uh, on Friday. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, it's like, you know, the 100 pence rules I always talk about. You know, mm -hmm. like, I don't ever, I've never said this out loud. You, you, you three were the first people to hear this. Now everybody else is going to hear it who's listening to this. Uh, whenever I work with teams, uh, ever since 100 pence retired from uh, baseball, uh, you know, stories have come out about you know what he did behind the scenes how he was a fiery leader and how you know like if the score was 20 to nothing with two outs in the ninth inning he was still the one trying to rally the troops you know <laughs> and uh and so you know hunter pence i'm a huge giants fan i'm pretty sure everybody knows that hunter pence was one of my favorite giants ever uh and i mean he put me on tv told my story to the entire world and um, so i really really have you know le like that deep rooted passion for Hunter Pence. Whatever he does in the future, I'm, I'm gonna be a full supporter of because, you know, he was a full supporter of me in the 30 seconds that he talked to me, you know? Uh, and, and he turned that 30 seconds and put it into two minutes that are that is infinitely on the internet forever, you know? Um, and so I always, I, whenever I come work with teams, I always say I'm looking for that person to fill the Hunter Pence role. People from the 80s and 90s that grew up watching the Giants, they'll say they're looking for that person that fills the Will Clark role, you know. Uh, and Alina, in my eyes, immediately from day one, filled the Hunter Pence role. I was like, that is, that is the Hunter Pence of the team right there. Woo! Nailed it. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, we, we uh, I watched the game against City, uh, and unfortunately it was a three-game sweep, but it, it, it made me more of a fan of Alina because I saw Alina, you know, like still trying to rally the troops, still trying to, you know, like build, build that deep rooted passion that we, that uh, I've been talking about. Um, and, you know, like trying to turn things around. Uh, and I think that that speaks immense volumes for sure. Uh, and so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Having me out. <laughs> yep. Is there a person in your life that you really want to lean or that you really lean on and uh, want to give a special thank you to? My dad, 100% my dad. My mom and my dad, but my dad has been my number one fan throughout these, what, I started playing volleyball, I think, middle school, like really seriously sophomore year. So throughout these past like four or five years, my dad has been like my number one supporter. He comes to every game. You'll hear him yelling at Russian, probably <laughs> in the bleachers. He's telling me who to hit at, sorry. Um, <laughs> He's probably cursing at the ref. He's gotten kicked out multiple times, but <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. I love it. Like a lot of coaches have come up to me, like I love your dad, and it's it's I love him too. He, him and my mom. They. I remember, as I said, club is very expensive. I remember mm -hmm. we were going through some financial troubles, and my mom. She's like, "Are you sure you want to do it?" And I was fine. I it sucked, but I was fine saying it's okay. I can cut the season off. And I remember my dad coming up to me. He goes, "It's okay, buddy. Like, we you are playing volleyball. Like, I'll do whatever I have to, but you're playing volleyball." And like, you might hear I call my teammate a lot of my teammates I call them buddy, and that's why because mm -hmm. my dad calls me buddy. Um, and just <laughs> him like willing to make that sacrifice, it's just he's the number one person I lean on. He's my biggest fan. I that's love him. awesome. Well, Mr. Calpin, shout out to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, I think that that uh, that's awesome because you know, like, I had very supportive parents growing up too. I mean, God forbid, they, they, they were the people that were pushing me to take this job at Ohlone. And um, when, when I talked to them about it. Uh, and so, you know, it's just it's just great hearing about, you know, like people that have that supportive family because mm -hmm. we, we, we see so many successful people talking about how like their family was the reason why they were successful in all the wrong ways. 
you know, like so yeah. many people talking about the, the, their family troubles. I mean, Aaron Rodgers doesn't talk about it, but it's well known <laughs> that he hates his family. <laughs> you know, and, and and it's like then then you got uh, Tom Brady, him and Giselle are uh, divorcing. <laughs> Blunt on that one? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> It's it, it's nuts. So, you know, it's just like, it's good to know that, um, you, you know, like there are people succeeding because of their families in the right way. Uh, because, you know, I can relate to that. So, yeah. yeah. Woo! Thanks, Mom, Dad. Love you. Yep. What's next after Ohlone? What do you want to achieve? <sighs> Transfer. I mean, I'm looking at recruits right now. I'm talking with my coaches. So if nice. I get a good scholarship, hopefully I go there. But um, if not... <laughs> It's fine. It's not. Um, I'm definitely going to continue coaching. Right now, I'm going to be coaching for my lacoste team. I'm really excited to work with those girls. I don't want to give up volleyball. So coaching is definitely the right way I want to go. But I'm probably going to transfer to UC Davis and then afterwards apply to medical school, take the MCAT. And nice. then hopefully, as of right now, I want to be a neonatologist. I love kids. I love babies. Awesome. So working with them is my dream. All right. And, uh, well, that answers question 19, so we'll go to question 20. Uh, this is the most thought-provoking question. Oh, one, the, one that, the one that's gotten everybody really badly. What do you want your legacy to be? How do you want people to remember you? Oh, dog. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think I already said it. Just, like, I just want people to, like, just remember me as the one that was always screaming, always cheering, just brought the team up like that that's all I want I just I want people to love volleyball and I never want to see a girl on the court just have her head down I never want to see that so I think it's just the girl that would get everyone up the girl that when it was a bad practice day would like leave everyone smiling if that's all I want awesome do you have any uh closing statements or questions for me I don't know who's your favorite team like come on now volleyball <laughs> come on now honestly that's you know, it's it's funny because um, uh, I think uh, I think it was Paula who said uh, you know like she doesn't have an answer for uh, who's her favorite sister because you know like it's like how do you pick a favorite sister? Mm -hmm. You know, for me it's more like picking you know like a, a, a favorite like sibling really <laughs> when I'm talking about you know mm -hmm. these teams. I mean, I. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten to work with the softball team as much as I hoped last year. But, you know, like when I did, I built some really nice connections. I mean, uh, I talked to Courtney uh, every once in a while, uh, Courtney Bowden. She, mm -hmm. she, when, whenever we see each other, we say hi. And same thing with Ashley. Uh, and then with the baseball team, you know, like there's some deep-rooted uh, uh, connections there that were built as the season progressed. I mean, I had dinner with the team. Love I went and did a road game with them. That was my first ever road game that I ever did as a broadcast announcer. So it was huge. Uh, we did it at Cabrillo College. <laughs> beautiful stadium, by the way. Absolutely beautiful venue. Uh, Got to go check it out, you guys. Uh, the outfield is freaking phenomenal. Uh, although Aloni's is better. Ah, Aloni's, Aloni's has the best ballpark in, in, in the world. They're, specifically, their softball ballpark. Beautiful. Um and then, you know, with basketball, I haven't really built the connections yet, but I can tell, like, there are some connections there. I have Josh as a, uh, as a classmate in one of my classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, a, he's an absolute goofball. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, Michael, uh, I've, I, I feel like I've kind of built more of a connection with him off the court uh, the most. Uh, I feel like Ju he's very soft-spoken, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like he's a, he's definitely a good guy also, and uh, you know then then it's like I'm building connections with your teammates and you off the court as well, uh, and I really just I I enjoy all of it. I mean I enjoy the, uh, how unique it is when I'm hanging out with y'all, mm -hmm. and then when I'm hanging out with the baseball guys. You know I built a co uh, connection with uh, Stevie Hom and Cam Calvillo. Uh, we had a uh, inside joke actually last season that we built uh that keeps going to this season um uh it, 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 it basically the inside joke if you hear it you'll be like what the f did 
does that mean? But it's like the inside joke was uh, about like the, the uh, baseball team has like this game that they play like hot potato with the baseball, mm -hmm. right? And Cam uh, was one of the guys playing it the entire time, uh, and I uh, remember when he was uh, when he played the next round. We were like betting, like all, all the guys were fake betting. Right, like, oh, I got five hundred on this guy. I got a hundred on this guy. I got fifty on this guy. I got ten on this guy. Right, I'm like, I'm gonna bet one whole penny, <laughs> one penny, Cameron Galvio. Oh. Right, and so every once in a while, when there's high stress situations uh, in the games, and he's about to go in, I'll, I'll, I'll whisper in his ear, "Hey, I got a penny on you." <laughs> one time I did. He laid down a bunt that scored two runs. And he beat out the throw to first base. That ended up being one of the deciding uh, like blows because the team ended up winning eleven to nine. Those two runs were the most important runs of the game. You just have a good luck charm. Good luck yeah. charm. So uh, you know, it's just like I have, I you know, like I feel like I do have that special connection with Cam the most. Um, and then Takumi Mayeno, he's a Japanese player from uh, from last year. Mm -hmm. I love that guy. <laughs> Miss him so much. Takumi, if you're listening, miss you, bro. Let me know when you're here. I got to see you play. Um, and uh, congratulations on the offer, by the way, and uh, being able to transfer. It's huge. I'm super happy for you. I uh, can't wait to hear from you again. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a favorite, uh, but definitely it, it, when it comes to the fall sports so far, I mean, volleyball is easily the favorite. Yes! Fuck it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I. Uh, I, 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 I specifically am going to look at it like fall sports versus spring sports. Yeah. Can't compare the two because they're completely different in nature, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the baseball team. I mean, so many guys. Too many. <laughs> they got like 50-plus people on the team right now. I'm like, uh, do, do you guys even have like a jersey for this guy right here? <laughs> like, this, this guy, I, I just see him wearing a polo all the time. Is he even a player or is he, is, is he like some sort of trainer? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, they're doing great. They're doing great. <laughs> yeah, they're, you guys. they're definitely doing great, and I'm very excited to work with them and get to know some of the new guys and bring them in here and interrogate. I mean, interview them, um, yeah. and not not interrogating them. It's no. super bad. <laughs> I just whisper. It's super bad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you, Alina, for your time, especially uh, and of being course. so flexible. And uh, this was a great interview. I mean, this definitely was the longest interview, so I got some editing to do. Uh, send me your highlights uh, uh, whenever you can compile them, uh, pictures of you playing, if anything. Um, and then also, if if you want, you can send me uh, those uh, picture day pictures of you, uh, mm -hmm. and I can I can edit some backgrounds, possibly, for you. I'll send you the highlights. The <laughs> you don't like those pictures? No. <laughs> God damn it. I got the fan going. She tears <laughs> everywhere. Oh, oh my God. All right, well, Alina, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. No problem. Goodbye, everyone.